Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, and we are being recorded, just so we all. Uh, yes. Yes, we are being recorded now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Margaret, you have the. Uh... I do. Uh, the first is the welcome and call to order, which you just did. Number two is acceptance of the previous minutes, which I sent out maybe about three weeks ago. Yes. Yeah. Um, any questions or concerns regarding that? Okay. Do we have a motion to... Uh... I make a motion that we accept the previous minutes. All in favor? Aye. Okay. okay. <laughs> and next thing is an update um, from Ben. All right. So I've got <clears throat> four items on this one. Um, one, the pools all got inspected, so we're good on that. Uh, uh, tattoo places are uh, are pretty much all set. <clears throat> I need to do one more inspection, and then we should be good with them. So th that'll be that'll be good for uh, a year for the pool. Um, the next item is uh, um, so we're getting a big increase in septic applications, as would be expected at this time of year. Just letting you guys know that's kind of increasing in the proportion of of time that that's going to take over the next probably month or so. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the Hampshire uh, regional inspectors, uh, they're doing inspections as uh, they continue to do inspections. The way we're dealing with that is, I think I might have mentioned it previously, is that uh, they go out to the initial inspection and then I'll do any reinspections that need to be done. Um, and if there's any, you know, anything that needs to be uh, uh, repaired or changed or whatever the case might be, I'm the one that follows up with, with all of that. So far, as you guys are aware, because no one's gone before the board, so far we're, we, we're getting people are working with us. So so that's good. I'm sorry, people are what? Working people. with us. Thank you. Ben, yeah. how many inspections are they doing, say, a week for Hadley? Well, so far since uh, mid-January, they've done about, I think, Close to 30, like upper 20s. Wow, that's terrific. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's great news. Yeah, it's they and they're they're good too. And and they okay. look great. And I mean, just really it's been going really well. So perfect. Um, okay, so then the next thing on here is uh uh as I'm sure you're aware, the budget has been submitted. I haven't heard any feedback uh from the finance committee or select board or anything like that, but uh we did make the adjustments that um uh, that, that the town manager uh, requested and then we haven't heard anything back since uh, i don't think we would expect to yet but that's the last uh, that, that that's the last i've heard and there's nothing else we can do let's put it that way hey uh ben, ben this is peter let me let me just add something to that um so the town meeting is may 4th and uh so baked into the agenda of the town warrant are obviously um request that the town approve expenditures, some new expenditures and increases and so forth. And it, including that obviously is the uh, budget for the next fiscal year, which starts in July. Um, so the the cycle is typically uh, all the departments and the boards and commissions, committees, whatever, they all submit their budgets. It's reviewed and approved um, and recommended by the uh, treasurer as well as the town administrator um there's still i think some discussion amongst the uh finance committee and the select board uh but that should be if it's not already wrapped up it should be wrapped up fairly quickly mm -hmm. but yeah the, uh, up to this point uh just let you guys know there's been as ben said there's really been uh, no real pushback in terms of what was submitted. Thank you. All right. And the last thing I have on here is that remember that the fit courses I was talking to you guys about the standardization that the state's trying to do um, this year and next year. Uh, this year, they're trying to standardize uh, all the inspectors in Massachusetts as, as much as reasonably possible um, on food and housing. Next year is going to be lead inspections. And there's two other ones that they're going to try to do next year. Anyways, uh, I, I've gone through all the classes and uh, uh, and done everything I can on the uh, food establishment inspection portion of it. So next is housing. Uh, I, I don't think that'll be until summer for me, but I just figured I'd let the the board know that that we are standardized on on that portion of the of uh, fit uh, requirements. That's, so that's, that's very exciting, Ben. 
Yeah, we. Was, I, but yeah. no, was it a good course? Were you happy with the quality? Yeah, they're they're uh, what they're trying to do is just make sure everybody is interpreting the code in a, in a similar way. Um, there's a lot of points that inspectors can. I mean, it, the way a sentence might read, you can interpret it in different ways, right? And so they're just trying to make sure people understand uh, the 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 way that the code is meant to be used. And they're giving a lot of uh, handouts and guidance and that type of thing, so that. When you're done, the goal isn't necessarily to memorize everything during the class. The goal is, is to have all the resources you need right. so that mm -hmm. when you're doing an inspection or you run into problems or whatever the case might be, you have all these resources at your fingertips to make sure, you know, you don't make it, you know, and, and you do it the right way. So, mm -hmm. uh, and that right. everybody, to the best of their ability, right? No, nobody's perfect. So that's the goal of it. And I, I did like the class. It was good. It was put on, the one I went to was put on by, um, uh, the Berkshire Co Collective, who I believe was trained by um, state before they put on the the, the course. So, um, yeah, then they were very nice and and good people. So it was it was a good class, and that's it for me. Can I ask you a question, Ben? Sure. What about the um, the email that you sent regarding the uh, number of times that you're doing a waste uh, wastewater test? And you were wondering whether to um, knock it down from two times a week to. Oh, that that's on our that's on our agenda. That's a later agenda item. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. So oh, okay. Testing. Yeah. Yeah, the COVID tests. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll talk about that app next. Okay. Any other questions for me? No, thank you, Ben. As thank always. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I know we have an update from Peter next, but Marcy, did you want to go first before Peter? Uh, sure, it's very quick. Sure, go, I, go I just, it. It'll be really, really go quick. Um, just a couple of updates about what's happening at the Senior Center. We have uh, a couple of our presentations coming up. Uh, one is on multiple chemical sensitivity which is um, was requested by one of our participants at the senior center. It's great. Um, and the following, yeah, it is. What it's is, interesting. What is that? Well, it got me, I, I tell you, I thought, oh, you're sensitive to smell. That's what I thought. And then all of a sudden I started reading the literature and I was like, oh, my God, this is a huge topic. Yeah. It's a, it's a, some people have a sensitivity to low levels of, synthetic body reacts in any number of ways and it makes them feel ill and sick and unable to kind of be in open environments you know I, what I, I mean lost, i lost the video feed here oh you did oh you, which um, is okay i can still hear everybody okay okay so that's this that's this coming uh, month, and the 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 April is going to be the effects of of stress on the body and the mind and strategies, and then we also have been um, meeting with the UMass uh, nursing students. They're going to be organizing the spring health fair here, and that is going to be April twenty fourth. So, yeah, excellent work, Marcy. Most appreciated. Yeah, thank you. Just, just let you know, so, asset let you know. To, to the board of health and the town. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Susan, just let you know, we can, we can see you. Yeah. I, I have my, the boxes on top, but my screen just says Hadley media it went black. Okay. What is the, you yeah, my, my, the, uh, the spring health for April 20th. Oh, now I see it again. Okay. It might, it might be the Wi-Fi in your hotel room. Yeah. Now it's gone again. It doesn't matter. There's okay. organizations that go and have to do with seniors, and they're going to set up tables for information and conversation. All right. Do you want me to go next? Yes. Am, am I next? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, just by way of update, um, food permits, food establishment permits, we have maybe like eight establishments that are not uh, permitted appropriately just yet. Uh, 
they're not large scale operations. Uh, I won't name names, but um, they've all been contacted and they, they know who they are. So, um, okay. you know, Peter, no, Peter if, no, you no. Need, if you need me to make a visit, I can do that. Just let me know. No, no, we're, okay. uh, we're good. Um, we, we, we have we have been to do that. <laughs> uh, the uh, but by and large, uh, the, the the vast majority of food establishments in Hadley are, are compliant, and uh, they've been uh, pretty good to work with this year. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Um, we do we are starting to see uh, applications for food permits from food truck vendors. Um, there's an event that's going on on April 27th at the Young Men's Club. We've received two applications so far. So we'll be working with them to get them permitted and uh, and inspected. Um, there is also uh, the uh, annual asparagus festival that will take place on June 1st on, on the town common. We haven't seen any applications yet, but uh, you know we'll see those in April and May. So. Um, so the volume will, obviously will pick up. Um, other than that, it's it's been you know relatively steady, relatively quiet. Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, again, just as a reminder, town town meeting is on uh, Thursday, May fourth. So uh, you know, if you uh, if you don't have it on your calendar, put on any calendar because we we need to vote. Um, the only other thing that I had um, was the um, the permit fees that I had suggested uh, that the board take a look at in terms of possible increasing them for um, 2025. And there's only excuse me, there's only five of them, and it's not like we're going to create a you know huge revenue stream or anything like that. But they, they include uh, the permits for septic haulers, septic installers, uh, septic plan reviews, body art establishments, and body art practitioners. Um, so I don't know if, you, uh, Susan, if you and uh, Margaret, if you guys had a chance to look at those. I, uh, I, I did have a chance to look at it. I would suggest if it's okay with you and okay with Margaret, that we postpone this discussion till next meeting because I know Emma will have some thoughts on it, and uh, I, I want her to be a part of the, the conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, you know, I I would think that we would if we we're going to do anything um, with these permits uh, or with these uh, fees that we may want to wait until calendar year twenty twenty five. But again, that's that's up to you guys. So if we wait till January first, twenty twenty five, obviously we have nine months. But um, yeah, Margaret, this, this... Margaret, are you okay to put that on the next month's agenda? Absolutely, I've got it right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that's fine. I mean, if if it was urgent, we could certainly you know have the conversation, Margaret and I. But I I would like to have Emma included. Yeah, I I think that's a really good. I mean, dragon. I would like yeah. dragon. Clear. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, I think it's a really good idea. Okay. Yeah, she, she had some feedback the last time too. So yeah, it does seem like she should be uh she should be a part of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Oh, um, okay. Uh, that, that that's all I had. All right. Then the next item. Uh, well, I guess we should make a motion to postpone it. So I move that we have a motion to postpone the mm -hmm. uh, discussion of the permit fees until next month. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. All right. Uh, next item is um, the COVID wastewater testing. Yes. Uh, DPW has... Uh, requested us to reevaluate uh, uh, the necessity of the, uh, I think it's twice weekly uh, wastewater testing for COVID, which is uh, currently being paid for by the state. Uh, Margaret, do you want to share some thoughts on that? Um, you know, I, I'm thinking back to an email we received you know, I lose track of the time, but it was some point last year 
when we wanted wastewater testing to continue mm -hmm. for COVID. Mm -hmm. And I remember at that time um, that the DPW expressed concern that it was a little burdensome. Yes. To um to to do. And and even though it just seems like all you do is you know you mm -hmm. just send the samples in, mm -hmm. it, apparently it wasn't that straightforward like some things, you know, you think you just do that. But I guess it didn't I guess there there was potential for this really taking a little bit of time out of out of their busy schedule to do wow. this twice, twice a week. Now I also recognize the fact that as data, it is uh it's great to have this data, mm -hmm. but um, I think my feeling would be since the CDC has yeah. kind of backed off now yeah. COVID and so we're treating it like any other viral illness mm -hmm. um, and, and essentially uh, stay home if you're sick and if, you know, until you don't have a fever for 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. Although I would love to see this data still recorded, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, because you never know when there's going to be a next mm -hmm. surge. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the practicalities of it might might make it m more difficult. And so my sense would be that we um, discontinue the water testing. Mm -hmm. To discontinue. Discontinue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think uh, your Can point... I make I, a second? <clears throat> yes, Ben. Uh, sorry, sorry, Susan. I just wanted to, to update the, oh. the board on the two things that we might have now that maybe we didn't have back then. One, our nurses are giving us infectious disease updates that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those reports that we didn't have before that are more re more regional. They're not exactly Hadley, but they're for our area. And included in that is, is COVID. And then the last thing is uh, Mass Department of Public Health also has a tracking website now where um, where you can see the infections going up or down or that type of thing. And mm -hmm. if there was type of a, of a big spike, um, uh, the board could possibly reinstate it at some point if 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 it's concern if if it's a concern, and uh, we could do that based on the data that that they supply to us. So I just want to put those two little caveats mm -hmm. in there. The board is considers Thank that. You. Let me. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, I I I'm I am oh, I concur with the both of you. I mm -hmm. you know we can. Uh, certainly stopped for now and uh if some situation should change uh as with anything that might be being tested in the wastewater uh in the future uh we can always uh restart uh after consulting with the dpw so uh i i think we can take a vote on that All right i make a motion that we um officially um, discontinue the COVID wastewater testing. Second. Yeah, all those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Okay. Thank you, motion passed. Marcy, I do not believe you are a voting member. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah, you... Maybe I just <laughs> raise my hand because I feel <laughs> I'm, I'm in agreement. No, okay, I'll yeah. keep my hand down. Um, okay. it's, it's, so, that's I... okay. And I will, and, and I'm going to go. So, um, okay. Because uh, Mary said it was okay. And have a good night, everybody. Be well. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. Thank Thanks for letting you. See, see you later. So I can't raise my hand in the future. <laughs> you can always raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. so, Marcy, is that yours? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Susan, do you want me to communicate to the DPW to uh, yes. stop? Yes. Okay. All right, I'll I'll connect with uh and with also the if you could also let the select board know. Okay, I will. Thank you, Peter. No problem. Thank you, Peter. Sure. Okay. Margaret. All right. Um, the next thing. Oh, the update about the number of hours available for Mercy or a town nurse to use before the end of this fiscal year. Do we have anything that was from the? Do we? What do we have? Ten hours left or something? I I don't know. 
Okay. And, so, so an, email, an email was sent out to her with all the, the hours that were that were left that was put together by HR. And I had asked her if she understood the the amount of hours that were left and what she can use. And she she communicated to me that yes, she does understand at this time. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Beth. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Any other business that could not be reasonably anticipated? Uh, I'm unaware of anything. I don't. Nothing from, yeah, nothing from. Okay. All right. Then I uh, make a motion that we adjourn uh, and that we should actually set the next meeting, which should be the yeah. second Thursday of the month. And that would make it April something. Yeah. April 11th. That's six six thirty. Six thirty, yeah. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody.